Tango began in the working class neighborhoods of Buenos Aires in the late 1800s. Over the years, the instruments and the rhythm have remained the same, but like history, the music and the dance have evolved. It may take two to tango, but in the last 150 years, this rhythm has spread way beyond Argentina's borders. Now millions dance to its beat all over the world, even in countries which have little in common with the passionate Latino culture like Finland and Japan. And every year, more and more tourists flock to Buenos Aires, the world's tango capital. This year, 80,000 people came to the International Tango Festival, spending $52 million in two weeks, 14% more than the previous year. One reason, which explains Tango's success, is its capacity of renewal. Take these Jewish musicians. Norberto Vogel and Victor Merstein were born and raised in Buenos Aires, but since their families came from Eastern Europe, they were brought up hearing both tango and klezmer. One day, they decided to merge both rhythms and create something different, the Tango Klezmer Project. Tango Klezmer is a fusion of two musical roots, Jewish music on one hand and on the other hand tango, which is a rhythm from the La Plata River where we were both born. This is El Choclo, the corn cob, one of Argentina's most popular tangos, written in 1903. Okay, this was pure tango. Now you establish a tone and I'll add a touch of Klesner to it. Let's see what happens. I think that another reason that makes these songs and other folk songs so appealing to an international audience is that they're also dances. You can dance to their beat. Even when it comes to dancing, tango is being reinvented all the time. This is a modern tango salon. No dancers are on the floor. The couple practices passionate embraces and intricate leg twists on the wall. Choreographer Brenda Ariel wanted to adapt the traditional rhythm to the modern dance and came up with something different, which she calls tango in the air. There are still many milongas, places where couples get together to practice and learn from masters. But even here, artists are reinventing fashion. Like painter Jorge Musia, who abandoned his canvases to paint dresses on the dancers' bodies. Traditional tango is still the greatest tourist attraction in Buenos Aires, but Argentines believe it will continue evolving in the future. This is Monica Yanakia for JN1 in Buenos Aires.